there once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers. This time around, we're going to be checking out a level that we should know, but I don't think we actually do. Um, this should be a conversion of Deathmatch Map by Philip T at Scrisnet.com, um, or this is the end. However, this is not actually the level we're getting. We're actually getting this is the end too. But yeah, he's not treated as this is the end too. It basically is just being treated as the same file name and everything. So yeah, this seems to be a second version of this is the end. Anyway, yeah. So this is basically made on 729 of 1996, July 29th of 1996. It's apparently when this was made. Which, yeah, actually that could be a problem because that's when the original one was said to be made. So I'm kind of confused by that. That probably means the original date and this is like an update. But yeah, also the interesting thing is that he changes like the capitalization on it and makes it a bit weirdly different. But yeah, other than that, basically this is the end too. Anyway, as said, this is a deathmatch level that doesn't look like a bot. And now it's also a remake of his sing original single player level now. Whatever his original single player level. When did he even have a single player level? Who is this guy? Who is Philip T? And what does he ever made? Um, Fredcast? He made Fredcast. That was a deathmatch level as well. So what exactly is this a remake of? Um, anyway. Single player is included, but it's kind of easy. Cooperative, yes and no. It's too easy. Deathmatch, yes. And yeah, basically this is... Sounds like it's kind of the same level, but now with single player? I, I don't know. I'm kind of confused by this one. But yeah, it's not the same level we saw before as far as I'm getting. Anyway, he designed this using 3DS to map. Which kind of makes sense as Philip Wheeler usually did that. He liked to use um, 3DS to map for some reason. And yeah, other than that, basically... Uh, this was his first attempt at use a map, he, usable map. He learned it a lot. Stuff in my ears. That's what he says at the end of the document. Stuff in my ears. I have no idea what that means. Does the original documentation have that? No, in the original documentation he had stuff. And he talked about how he's an artist interested in making a lot of Quake sci-fi packages and all that stuff. Email him, all that. But where does the e in my ears come from? I, I don't I don't know. I don't see a text in my ears. Yeah, the original text didn't have in my ears. So where did you get stuff in my ears? It, it just feels kind of weird. Yeah, it's just kind of like weirdly there. <laughs> but anyway, this is this is the whatever. I, I don't know. This one doesn't even have like a name in the game. The previous one had like a uh, deathmatch map by Philip uh, T at screwsnet.com. This one does not. So yeah, this one is a later version of it, but a version without some of the things and it's a bit different in certain ways it's weird anyway i guess we should load up this uh, level see what exactly we're in for as said it uses the same file name so i'm just gonna name it this is the two so that way you can keep the original one eventually hopefully you can find that one because yeah i still haven't converted that one over from aftershock into regular quake and apparently this compilation does not have that um it looks like he has two This Is The folders, but they seem identical. They seem like they're exactly the same freaking thing. I'll have to go through it and compare the two, make sure. But yeah, it feels like we got two of the exact same file. And wait a minute, why do, am I in QTest? Oh, because QTest was apparently what I was doing last time, and I apparently forgot to swap back over. Don't you love DOS bots? Yeah, I'm just sitting here talking to you guys and forgetting that I'm in freaking QTest of all things. That That is brilliant. I, I love that I just sat there not thinking about it at all and just thinking that I somehow was in regular Quake. Yeah, look, it's, it's Quake. It shows a Quake console with Quake stuff. Yeah, that's pretty sad, isn't it? <laughs> but um, in any event, as said, we can actually load this stupid thing up, see what exactly we're in for. Now we should be able to actually load regular Quake. As said, we're doing this is the map. This is the T. Two, I think it is. There we are. And yeah, actually, wait a minute. This is the same thing. Wait a minute here. This is the same map, isn't it? Now I'm getting very confused. 
This is the, actually the aftershock textures. Wait a minute here. What? What? I just logged in. This is, is the two. You saw me type the two. This is the second map. What? What? <laughs> um, people, <laughs> I'm kind of scared. What? What just happened? Let me look at the textures. No, the textures are normal. Wh why did I get? Huh? What? <laughs> what just happened? I'm kind of scared. That was weird. That was a very very weird. Yeah, and even this is this is weird. Let me let me try again. I don't know how on earth it would have loaded this is D2. Map, this is D2. <coughs> this loads de Deathmatch Map. How do I get Deathmatch Map from this? That's that's weird as heck because I'm loading up this is D2, not this is D. And it's like, th there's no, no other level that's named that. No, I'm looking at it right now, blatantly, it's saying this is D2. Is there like something in one of these others? Um, it shouldn't be loading any of the other subdirectories besides test, and test is empty. So, what in bloody god name is this? Why is this loading like it is? That's that's weird. That's weird as heck. It should be loading up. This is D. What happens if I load up this is D? <laughs> because I keep trying to type in this is D too and get this is D one. Um, this is T. That's the normal one. Map, this is T2. Th there's the same freaking map. Okay, now I'm going insane. Well, is it because it's too long of a name, maybe? And it seemed like this is D? Maybe I need to change it to something else because it's like too long of a name or something? So let's see here. This is D. This is D. Yeah, I'm changing it from di this is T2 to this is D. Maybe it, it's a read error and I can't like see so many letters. I mean, it did have that issue when it came to folders, right? Totally, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going with this. Um, Yeah, at this point, I really don't know what I'm going with. I'm just trying to make some sort of logic out of this whole stupid thing. Because at this point, I feel like, yeah. Um... Actually, while I'm here, I probably should just make sure everything is fully there. I want to make sure this file is indeed the file that it should be. I don't want to go back in and all of a sudden be surprised to be told, Bam, you're doing the wrong thing. Okay, so it looks like it should be working. It should... It looks like this is D. Okay, so if I go in here, I like to type in, This is D. Will it load up? Yes, it will. So it was a read error. It didn't read because it was like too short. But as you see, this one does not have a right bio at the start. And it has 10 enemies instead of 1. It also has like a weird different start location. And this script is really annoying me. Also, we have a zombie here. And I can't really shoot the zombie. I just heard another grunt. That That's brilliant. And this seems to lead somewhere, though I don't know where. Well, it's this way. What the? Where did you come from? Wait, zombie? He's really annoying me. Let's see here. Let's get this way. This is like a side corridor that runs alongside. Oh, here's where all the grunts are. Look at this. Look at how the blade grunts in this corridor. You also have this corridor that go it goes above the other corridor, it looks like, where you can get some nails. But that doesn't really help me now, does it? But yeah, it's kind of like the other one. Except that this is inversed. I feel like, yeah, I don't feel it was this angle. I feel like the entire map was flipped around or something. It feels weird. Like it's all backwards, but it's the same level still. This is like a B-side version of it. It's, it's very, very weird, people. So anyway, let's head up here. Let's gather some ammo because we have ammo and a nail gun. That doesn't really help me kill the zombie, guys. I'm kind of concerned about the zombie. Is there a way to kill him? Is there a quad damage, a rocket launcher, something? Okay, well, we, we at least killed four of them. We know the fifth is a zombie, so that means we have five more enemies to go in this map. And yeah, the map is familiar. Like, I do recognize this. It's just kind of backwards. But it is making sense, and I do kind of know where I am now. Oh, look, a double barrel shotgun. That does not help me at all. Is that way, like, up there lead to here, maybe? I think maybe it does? I don't know. I want to go that way and see if, like, if I run down that hole, if I drop down to this pit of water. Because that is a mystery. 
And there's a living dead who's just kind of waiting for me because he's going to rip my health to shreds. And I can't really do much about it. So, I drop down here. And yeah, you drop down to the same exact location we just were at. Nothing fancy. Let's head this way. Is there some rot fish or something? Oh, we have this room. This giant open area. We have an area forward, so we do need to remember to check that out. But I'm hearing ogres. Somebody once told me God, Trek is somewhere. I heard his theme song. Oh, look, there's an ogre. Well, that was easy. Another one. Let's kill him as well. Okay, so we killed two ogres. We're seeing floating boxes. And we got a super nail gun, which will allow us to decimate whatever. Except that zombie. I still need guns for the zombie, people. But, um, yeah, at least we're killing everything. I think we're accomplishing a lot. We just haven't... Oh, look, a grenade launcher. This is exactly what I need to decimate the zombie. Zombie, you're now mincemeat. I shall return and kill you. Let's see here. Let's figure out if I can figure out my way back. Let's see here. I think this is my way back. Here, there, I'm heading forward. I can't tell anymore. Where am I? What am I doing here? Where's that zombie at? I want to blow his brains out. He's moving all around the place and moaning and groaning. He's really annoying me. Freaking zombie. Come here, zombie. I want to kill you. Add you to my collection of corpses. Okay, so there we are. One more dead zombie. Okay, so we want to swim to the hole. Get through this hole. And now we just want to swim this way. Across the area. And I believe this is the area I kind of forgot about when I did the original version in Aftershock. But, by this point, now I know about it. Anyway, now this is a giant water pillar. Now this water pillar, we get some armor. And the scrag. But that was easy. Red armor as well. We have two more enemies to go. I'm curious about that. Oh, look, another scrag. Okay, we have one more enemy to go. I'm assuming it's a shambler. For some reason, I get the feeling shambler. Whenever in doubt and there's one enemy remaining, it's always a shambler. Or maybe an ogre. That could be the case as well. Well, I killed him. That was pretty anticlimactic, if I do say so myself. You come down here, and you can come down to these little ledges that don't really serve any purpose. But they're there. And other than that, yeah, you just swim up here, up this giant water pillar. Not a water elevator, mind you. This is not officially a water elevator. And you basically got that. Here's a light fits here, if you like light fits here. And here's the exit. Right next to this thing. Well, here we go. Exit. Amazing. Just like last time. In fact, it felt very much like last time. This brings us to E1M1, by the way. But yeah, this is basically the last one with um, a couple more enemies. Instead of just having a Rottweiler in the star room, now we have like 10 enemies. Yeah, but it still felt very, very easy and very, very bare bones. It, it still was not the most interesting or exciting mission. So yeah, not exactly the biggest of improvements in the world. But at least I guess we have more gameplay than we did the last time around. So that's something, right? Yeah, now it's actually a single player mission. So I have to basically link this out and make this like a sequel mission and then make it as a single player walkthrough. But there we are. Anyway, that's really this mission. And so I believe that's also another folder in this stupid thing. So I believe we're kind of tackling two for one right here. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It has been an adventure as usual, I guess I can say. And I shall see you all. Well, that's time.